Oh man, this is really bad. This is bad. I'm gonna try to do this video and not, um, I'm trying to log into Wi-Fi here. Cause I wanna be able to watch your video. Um, oh, I, I, I never made a video like this before, like a response to something that someone said about me. And uh, it feels really, really awful. Um, but I guess I wanna do this just because, just to tell you my side of it, what happened. I met uh, Trisha last year. She's um, she's a really, really, really spectacular person. When I when I first uh, when I first uh, saw her on YouTube and stuff, I thought, oh, like, wow, she's she's um, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I expected like, maybe she'd be very narcissistic, or I expected to be uh, that she'd be all about herself. And and then when I met her, she's she's not that. She's not that at all. She's um, she's really generous. She's really funny. She's beautiful, um, and um, she's the kind of person that you'd like w want to be in a relationship with. She's she's just all about like a a, a team sort of mentality. Me and you, babe. Me and you, babe. For you know forever, and that. That was that was really awesome. I, I I never met anyone like that before, um, who sort of matched um, my my exuberance for life. I always kind of dated opposites, and I felt that Trisha and I were a lot alike. We loved making YouTube videos. We loved um, food. We loved eating. We loved going to nice hotels. Um, she loved the, she loved the palm. She liked, she liked chicken parmesan. I love chicken parmesan. And let me also say before I get into this video, best sex I ever had with Trisha. Prettiest girl I ever dated. Trisha. And I, in no way, um, ever, that's what's so, so crazy about the video she made is that I, I never ever had any issue with with um, her body type ever not not ever in my life and she used to say to me oh you know you date all these um, like all the girls before me were were brunette and and skinny and thin and that's your type and that's what you like and that's not true at all I I don't have a type I don't have a type at all I believe it or not, generally, I just, I like the people who like me. If, if you know, like, it's, well, I had a hard time finding anyone to date me. And Trisha is way, 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 way out of my league. I'm 45 years old. She's 30. I was quite confused as to why she would want to date me at all. You know? And we always had a joke like, oh, did you hit your head or something? Like, do you... We would make a joke like, you know, are you not wearing your glasses? Do you not see me? So we made a lot of self-deprecating jokes and stuff. And um, I just watched the video, and and I I feel I feel awful for her. I feel I feel horrible. I I'm really sad for her, and I'm really sad for me. I'm I'm upset. I just had a beef sandwich, um, and I ate it really fast. Um, but I want to say, what, like, what happened? I want to, I want to say my side of it. And so, I in no way think that it, I don't think any of these things that she said. I never called her fat. Um, a lot of what she said in her video is true. Like, you know, I. The title was really shocking that she put that as the title. But then the other part of me is like, well, she's great at titles. That's probably the best title that she could have ever come up with. Even though, I don't know, it's it's at my detriment. And I'm, that's the, I'm I, I, I think I'm a pretty selfless person. So I'm definitely feeling for her now more than myself. Um, but... I'm sorry, I'm rambling. 
So it was almost like she kept, she once told me, she said, I, I break up with people. I said, I, I can't break up with people. I, I, do, I do awful things until that person breaks up with me. So I said, okay. So she's like, oh yeah. She's like, well, I'll never break up with you. She's like, you're gonna have to break up with me. And I said, okay, all right, whatever. I don't know if that was a joke or whatever. Um, and it clearly wasn't a joke because I feel like the last few weeks she's been putting these things in front of me that make it impossible to date her. And these are, these are, the, these are the two things. This is, I guess, why we broke up last night. I guess this is the fight. So we were doing one of her bikini shoots. She had rented a house and she asked me to come film her in bikinis. And this, we had done this before. It's our second time doing it together. When I would just put her in bikinis and then take pictures of her, take some videos, and she walks out. She was really good at it. She was a great spokesperson. She'd be like, hey guys, this is this bikini and it's got this and that and that. And, and then we, we did it and it was, it was fun. I ran out of tape, sorry. Fisher always said to delete my footage, so I should have. But so we, we, went, we went and we did this bikini shoot. And, uh, and again, I, I, I don't care what size she is. I don't care at all. She's perfect size for me. I do not care. I, I don't care what she looks like. And the fact that she's twisting it this way to say that because I'm fat, because I'm gross, because I'm fat, because I'm, it's, it, it's just not true. It's not true at all. And so she said she was changing in the bikinis and she like was not having a good day. She was not feeling good. And she said it several times. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. And I said, I said, well, you know what it is. And she said, don't, don't, Jason, don't, don't say it. I know what you're going to say. And I said, okay, all right, all right, I'm sorry. And like, I genuinely was saying it for health reasons, not for her size or anything. And like, I, I had a lot of weight issues too. And so my previous marriage, like when I was with my um, ex, we, we, we would help each other with our diets and stuff say like okay let's try to do this and maybe we'll you know just trying to keep the weight off when we could and I shouldn't have put that on her at all I should have never I had no idea it was so sensitive I should have never ever ever brought it up I apologized and then eventually in that conversation she said go ahead say it what I said I said I think you're not feeling well I think maybe you should change your diet that's what I said and I said that because I love her because I, I wanted her to I was genuinely trying to help and I'm so sorry and I apologized and it was really it was tense she was mad at me and I said I'm sorry I'll not, I won't say anything again I won't say anything again she said okay and we went we shot some more bikinis and then we went back inside and she was changing it again and she said she goes you're she goes you're right I, I know you're right I know it's my diet like that and I said I said okay, like now, like, okay, we're on the same wavelength. Let's talk about it. Maybe, you know, maybe we can help. I, I, I do believe that. And I said, when I turned, when I got to be 30, I couldn't eat like I used to eat. So I said, um, I said, you know, and, and I said, she goes, well, David eats Olive Garden. I said, well, yeah, David's 21. Like, I'm like, I genuinely was just trying to help. And she said, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. And I thought we had like a, like a good conversation about it. Like, oh, well, let's, this is all in my mind. Like, let's, I, I don't know. Like, let's move forward together. Like, oh, if, if you, if you want to, she used to say to me, let's, let's, can we go dance? Can we go dance at night? I, I lost so much weight when I danced. And I, and I'd be like, yes, yes, I'll go dance with you. And, 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 and I should have, I should have, I should have went with her like, I, or, or not. Like, I don't know. Because I think a lot of this is her putting things in the way for me. So the next thing that happens is, is the next day, um, she says, well, I'm, I'm not eating around you anymore. I'm not going to eat anything around you. I said, do you want to go to dinner or something? I'm not eating around you anymore. You, you, think that I'm, uh, you think that I'm fat. You think that I'm gross. No, I don't think that. I don't think you're fat. I don't think you're gross. I think you're beautiful. I love you. I, I really love you. And, um, and she says, no, I'm not going to eat any meals. So I took a hard line on it. I said, okay, well, that's not going to work. 
if you're, if you're not going to eat meals with me, that's, that's not a relationship. That's not going to work. You can't do that. Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. I said, okay. So we kind of let it go or whatever. Then we went out to, uh, went out to dinner with my kids and she ordered a salad and she hates salads. So I sat there. I was like, huh? I was like, oh man. So I, you know, I said, I just order what you want. I know you don't like salads. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And it went on for like, you know, a few days. And I was like, just stop torturing me. I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. I was just trying to help. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I kept saying that. So finally she started eating again with me and, you know, doing a lot of things along the way that I didn't like, but I really, I, I, want, I, I wanted to be with her. I, I enjoy, we had a great time together. And um, so then we went to, this is the part in, the, in her video that I, isn't true or she changed. Um, uh, we were doing this reality show. We were shooting a reality show sizzle and the guy came in and he was like, we've got a great idea for the sizzle. It's all about, um, and Trisha said this and I'll just repeat it. It's all about like, it's all like YouTube couples. They're so hot. Alexis Ren, Jay Alvarez. And then we're going to smash cut to you guys, the not hot couple. That's what they said. And Trisha and I go, oh, that's hilarious. That's so funny. Right. And then, uh, so Trisha said some joke where it's like, yeah, you know, like, uh, it really, I'm like a seven and Jason's like a six. And I was like, ha ha ha. I'm like, oh, like, oh, that's really funny. Great. Great. So now we're, now we're working together as like a comedy team. It's not just boyfriend, girlfriend. It's in my mind, it's a comedy team. I have a comedy background, blah, 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 blah. And so I'm, you know, if you see me in David's vlogs or if you see me in Scott's vlog or Todd's diaries, I'm always thinking like, how do I how can I get a laugh here? What, what, what can I construct here? And, you know, there's, there's always like a good margin of error. Like there's tons of stuff that we try that doesn't work. And, um, and we always had that problem when we would shoot stuff. I would, I would like, I would, I would try to be funny and she'd be like, Oh man, that's just not working. That's just not funny. And I'd be like, well, okay, well get, let's, let's try and make it funny. Like she's like, no babe, I just vlog. I just do my thing. And I'm like, Okay, so we, we definitely saw things differently. She's like, I just am funny. I'm just real life. And where I, I'm more of the school of like, oh, let's, let's try to like, let's try to attack it another way or whatever. So whatever. So then the guy, I never called her fat. Never, ever, ever would I call her fat, ever. And she used that in her video. She said that I called her fat. And I never, ever would call her that. I would never call her fat, ever. And I'd never call a woman fat, ever. What was said was we were in the moment and I have, I have to get a hold of the video. I don't have it. I don't know if I'll ever show it to you, but if it comes to that, I'll track it down. The producer said something like, well, you guys are gonna, if he said something like, you're gonna have to, you're, you'll have to wait or something like that. You guys, you guys are, you guys are, it was some word, the word wait. And I said, yeah, we're overweight like that. So she didn't like that. And I apologize. That's another lie. I definitely apologize. I apologized several times. I said, I'm sorry. I said, I was just trying to be funny in the moment. I really, really was I'm so sorry. And, and, and I made the joke, we're overweight. And that, and that, and that's it. That, that's exactly what happened. And I did apologize and I was just trying to be funny in the moment. And it's just a joke. And I really believe that this was just another opportunity for her to put something in my way to make it impossible for me to date her. We were leaving for Boston tomorrow and I, I feel that she wanted to create something. I mean, these are such small things. These are two small things. This is a joke that I apologize for when a camera was on, when a, a reality show producer from E was there and I was in a high pressure situation where I just wanted to make the tape good. And that's a casualty of what we do. We are filming all the time and she would not let up on it. Even after I apologized, I said, I'm really sorry. I said, I'm sorry. Can we just let it go? And she said, no, I don't think I can get past it. I don't think I can get past it. I said, okay. Okay. So then I didn't talk to her all day Wednesday edited my video 
And then Wednesday night, she said some stuff about me going to a club, which if you know me, I don't go to clubs. I feel pretty stupid at clubs, being my age. I went to David's house at 9 o'clock, set up the podcast equipment as we record every night on Wednesdays, and I waited for David. David got there and said he wanted to go and um, see if he could shoot something with Paris Hilton. And I said, oh, I, I don't know, he showed up with Todd and Matt, and then suddenly said, all right, well, we're going to go to this party really quick, and then we'll podcast. And I said, well, what am I supposed to do? And he said, just come with us. And I was like, okay, okay, so I'll come. So I, I didn't even have a, a suit or anything. I didn't, I didn't have anything. I, I wore these smelly sneakers. And so we went to this party, this this awful, awful, awful party at Delilah. And we went in, and it was Parasol and Lip Syncing. And the entire time I was like, let's go. Let's go to the podcast because I, I, I start to fade because I'm older. And I like after 11, I can't even think. I run into uh, one of Trisha's friends. And I said, was Trisha? I said, oh, she's not here, blah, 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 blah. And I hadn't talked to her all day. She was still mad at me, I thought. She texts me, what are you doing at a club? I know you're out looking for someone skinny, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I called her. I said, I couldn't be further from the truth. I said, I don't even want to be here. I'm trying to get home to podcast, blah, 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 blah. And often, like, when we go out, if David and I go out or Todd and I go out, like, I'm not going out to get drunk. I'm not going to pick up girls. I'm literally going out that maybe something will happen. Maybe there'll be an interaction with Paris Hilton. And it never, it never happens. It's always awful. It's usually, we, we were leaving. I was like, there's like a 2% chance that we'll get something good. We got nothing. And so, spoke with her this morning. And she, um, she said she couldn't get past it. And um, I thought it was ridiculous. And and that was it. And I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and and call her any names. I'm not going to say that she, you know, things that I wasn't happy with in the relationship. I love her. I'll always love her. Um, I don't like that she made that video about me. But um, I'm I'm here for her if she wants to talk. But she's not someone that can be spoken to or reasoned with, or at least I I can't reason with her. So, so that's it. I don't know, I don't feel great about this video. It sucks. I feel like an asshole. Um, I mean, whatever, I, I, you know, you guys wanna write nasty stuff on Twitter, that's fine, I don't care, it's fine. Um, I'm a good person. I loved her. I bent over backwards and tried to make her happy. I tried to do everything I could. And I don't know. I think I don't. I think all of this is bull. I think it's all. I think it's all like. I, think, I don't know. I don't think any of it's real. I mean, she was texting me already planning her video. She was like, well, I'm going to post this video. So you, you know, I'm like, you're, you're already preparing your statement. Like I wasn't even done with the relationship and she was already texting me that she was going to post a breakup video. It's like, okay. So yeah, so that's it. I don't know. I do YouTube to, to, um, to take care of my kids. That's it. I have two kids, Wyatt and Charlie. I, I, I was, um, I was doing stand up. I was doing movies. I did not succeed at movies. I made two movies. They made no money. And and I was pretty much nowhere. And then I started doing YouTube. And I was able to have a channel, have you guys watch me. I really appreciate it. I, I you know, it saved my life. It's absolutely, absolutely saved my life in every way. I'm so grateful to everybody that I've met on YouTube. Um, especially Trisha, too. She's, she, she taught me a lot. And I, I, I don't know. And I, and I, I'm not going to say anything bad about her. She's, she's just whatever, whatever, whatever. It is what it is. All right. That's it. I don't know. I'm at VidCon. Oh.